Hello, my name is Kainton, and today we are going to write a program in Java to display Fibonacci numbers. All right, so let's just open Eclipse and start. So if you've not installed Eclipse, please uh, install Eclipse in your system, and then you can follow along in this program. So we want to write a program that displays Fibonacci numbers. What are Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers is a series of numbers where the next number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. Now, if you open Eclipse, this is what you see. Uh, if you've not written anything in Eclipse, this is what you see. All right, so what we are going to do, simply say File, New, and then choose New Project. So when it displays this new project wizard, simply go to Java and just choose Java project. So at this point, it asks a project name, so just call it Java Programs. We are going to write several programs, so let's just leave the name as Java Programs. All right, so this is what we have. Simply say finish. So here we have nothing. We just have a SRC. So let's say SRC and default package is where we have uh, our Java program. So if I open what is in inside there already, uh, I'm going to delete this because this is not. Okay, so we have default package. So we don't have anything. So let's just go ahead to write the program. Java programs, remember, they are in classes. So what we are going to do is to create a class. So right click on this SRC and just say new and choose class. Okay, so just worry about giving it a name. So let's say uh, Fibonacci. Let's just call it Fibonacci and just say public void main. So we just put this main so that it will to help us generate a main class. Maybe in another program, I may not use this. So this is what we have this time, right? But let me just tell you a little about Fibonacci numbers. So an example of Fibonacci number is 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2 is what? 5, 5, uh, 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, right? 5 plus 8 is what? 13, and, and so on. So this is how Fibonacci numbers look like. So we are going to write the program to generate and display these numbers. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we are going to do, remember the first two, uh it's not is a one is the first one two is the first one is the second one so basically or we can just add one here if you will one okay so at this point so we can actually write it in this way n1 right n2 then we have n1 plus n2. Then the next one will be n2 plus n1 plus s n2 and so on. So, so let's declare some variables. First, we can say Fibonacci numbers are always integers. Integer n1 equal to 0. Let's declare it as zero. Let's declare n2 equal to one. N3 equal to two. So at this point, so let's uh, we have zero. Okay, so zero, zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. So so we want to have a Fibonacci number from from zero to uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to display ten numbers. So let's let's uh, declare how many numbers we want to display. 
int count is equal to 10. <coughs> so we want to display 10 numbers in the series. <coughs> Sorry. So what we are going to do is to first print out the first two. So these two numbers, we can just uh, print it out because they are the initial numbers. We don't calculate anything to display them. So just say system to print out. You say system dot out dot print. <coughs> so at this point, I want to print out n one, right? N one plus space. <coughs> plus n2 so for now just print out the first two because this first two numbers we are not calculating anything to get it so now the next step we are going to loop from 1 to 10 <coughs> we are going to loop from 1 to 10 <coughs> but since we already have two two numbers here Let's loop from 2 to 10. So from the second number up to the 10th number because we want to print out two numbers. So the for loop for i is equal to 2. So this is how for loop goes. Uh, i is less than a count. Then say i plus plus. Okay, so plus plus i is okay. All right, so we we have okay, so it's giving us error here in i. So just click on this light bulb here and just tells you that i is not declared. So we can say int i to say i is an integer. So n3 is equal to what? n1 plus n2. So this is our n3, and then we can say uh, we can say uh, after calculating n3, we print it out system dot out dot print so so basically so what we are printing here is n3 so before I print it I give some space plus n3 so at this point the next thing I'm going to do because I have already printed uh, one, two, three. So entry is calculated as what? As n1 plus n2. So n1 and n2 is this two preceding numbers, 0 and 1, right? And then we printed entry, which is 0 plus 1, which is 1. So this is where we are. The next thing we want to do is to now say we have, let me just explain what is happening to you. So at this point, we have we have 0, 1, 2. So this is n1, n2, n3. So for us to repeat this sum, it means that let's reassign n1 as n2 and then n2 as n3. In that way, we can then calculate uh, another, the next number. So what I'm going to do, I'll just say n1 is equal to n2 and n2 equal to n3. So at this point, the system is going to loop back and say n3 is equal to n1 plus n2. So in calculating n1 plus n2, it's taking the two previous numbers, right? Good. So I'm going to end 
this program at this point and let's, then let's run it to see if it works. In another explanation, maybe I'll try to make it a little clearer. But try to understand that in every iteration, the two numbers to be summed is changed to the two preceding numbers. So N3 gets N2, N2, N1 gets N2. So let's run it uh, and see. So just click on this run. And uh, you can choose this, it, it's, it's okay. So you can see here, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 24. So we've actually written the first program, so Fibonacci del Java. We are going to write it in a simpler way in the next nice, uh, tutorial. That will be uh, rec using recursion. But for now, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you want to get notified when I write more Java programs.